Hi everyone, Blessed Bee. So I'm just recording this on my phone. So if it's a bit, if it's a bit shaky, excuse me. Um, curse of uh, being a shaky person. Hold on. Can I balance you on my thing without taking out the case? Kind of. There you go, that reduces the shake a little bit. Um, so yeah, I am going to show you a video now of my latest um, taxidermy pieces. This is bones that have been ethically sourced because they came from my garden. I know where they came from. And I've cleaned, the, cleaned them up, prepped them, sterilized them and put them in my containers to display. And I'll explain what they are and um, show you. And uh, yeah, if you have collections of animal skulls, bones, um, taxidermy, anything like that, you'll like this video. If you're not into that, don't watch this video. Hello. So you've all seen my Robux skull. I did a video about making that. My glass down needs dusting. It's a bit bit dusty but that's my roebuck skull and I put the grasses and lavender flower arrangement behind it I've got two bits of obsidian it's either obsidian or jet that I found um, that I put in there and some of the dried organic stuff like um, I've got some feathers got some moss that sort of thing all from my garden Apart from the Robux score, which I bought. Then from my garden, I have this beautiful specimen. This is a magpie skull. And I've got it on some like moss stuff that I got from Hobbycraft. It's like stuff that's used by um, florists. And I don't, I think it's fake, um, but doesn't matter um i wanted something mossy looking and i've got like a quartz crystal in there i've got like a nice rock i found in my garden from there a rosebud that's dried um eucalyptus that's dried and i've got my magpie skull sitting on there this was a magpie that i found passed away in my garden and i buried it and i let nature do all the icky part of it so um, I buried it for a year and then located where the skull was and finished cleaning it up and sterilized it so this has took a year to make um, but I'm really proud with how it turned out beautiful skull it's got a fracture in the back of its head so that must be how it died some sort of head injury, whether it flew into something or something, I don't know. Although, if it flew into it, it would be at the front, wouldn't it? It's probably the fox in my gardens had it. Um, or or maybe even the cat. It's possible. Um, then over here in my tiny jar, I have this one. This is a rat skull. A ratus ratus. And this was a rat. This was my cat. My cat had this rat um, and for some reason didn't finish it because normally my cat eats them. Because um, my cat was a stray and was living feralie for quite a long period of its life. Um, and he's not out, got out of the habit of obviously snacking on rodents. It's his favourite snack, I'm afraid. But it's all right because it uh, keeps the rodent population down in my garden. And... Yeah, I just put rat on the back to remind me in case I ever forgot. And he's got some moss and a quartz crystal in there. This next one is a squirrel. So I've got the squirrel skull, which was quite, as you can see, severely shattered. I had to glue this section back on and I couldn't find that piece. Um, so obviously head injury for this one. And got a piece of the pelvis and one of the other bones and it's got some moss and a rose and some clear quartz in there with it so if I can show you a bit closer 
So as you can see, there's a lot of like fracturing and stuff going on. This one was really delicate um, and quite hard to um, finish cleaning up. What I had to do was just clean the soil off it and sterilize it. Um, these are the teeth from the squirrel that came out. They, ca they came out when I was using um, a jet of water to wash off any mud and dirt from the skull and the teeth popped out. I managed to find them. I couldn't get them back in though, so I've left them separate. And then this one is my beautiful crow skull. This was a crow that was found dead in my garden. Um, there's no signs of injuries on the skull. Um, that I can see, or maybe at the back, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not up in animal anatomy, so I'm not, if I'm missing bits of skull, I probably wouldn't know, to be honest. Rubs, drop the dome. There you go, you get a better look at the skull anyway. So this is a crow skull. Um, I heard the crows going mad outside in my garden and found this guy dead in my garden on the grass and I buried it and left it for a year and then when I was redoing my garden again this year and turning over the soil I found the skull and cleaned it all up. Beautiful specimen in very good condition and what I did was um, so that like the fox wouldn't dig it back up or anything is I buried it in my garden and put a concrete slab on top that seems to stop the fox digging up stuff that I bury and that way I was able to get this all cleaned up I let nature clean it because nature's the best at doing that and it's all been sterilized and everything and it's now on display in my dome which I forgot to glue on as you can see um so let me just put that back on so i'm not sure about the grassy stuff at the back um i like the height but i'm not sure about the color um so i'm gonna probably change that before i do glue the dome back on um but that's my crow piece these pieces live on top of my desk this is the my little collection and how i've got them displayed at the moment and the only other piece I've got, I've got one that's got a couple of crow or magpie skulls in on my shelf over the other side that my husband bought me. So yeah, these are my, oops, I don't cover the camera with my finger, sorry. These are my latest additions to my gothy decor. And of course, I've got Stitch as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's that's me all over, that is. If anyone ever wants to know what my personality is like, this and this. <laughs> Cute stuff and gothy stuff. Dead stuff. So, yeah. Um, and this is my little display. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And blessed be. If ever you want to know how I did this, just la let me know and I'll do a video. But... I'm not sure, I'd have, I'd have to just probably unmonetize it. I don't think that would be one that the YouTube algorithm gods would like. Although, there was nothing icky, it just the skull had soil on it. Um, but yeah, I can always talk through the process if you're if you're wanting to know how I did it. But yeah, I'll just show you. I think this is the best way just to show you the decor items. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bless it be. Bye for now.